it's really dark. Um, I'm uh, we're 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 about we're leaving. <laughs> You got things under control, Kent? Always. Okay. Mike and I, Mike and I used to work together and we were the early crowd. If you're on time, you're late, right? That's what I understand to be true. If you're on time, you're late. So, you know. Anyway, Mike and I are here. We're waiting for uh, a few other folks to uh, roll in. And then we're going to be hitting the road by 6 is when was our target wheels rolling. I'm packed. I remembered everything. Did you remember everything? I'm packed. We'll find out when we get to camp. If I remember. <laughs> there's, there's always that one thing. My glasses. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, I was just shooting a video, and I didn't know it was gonna automatically turn on the light. Well, yeah, because it's dark out. Well, yeah, but I mean that's annoying, right? Yeah. Now you got a light in your face. It's alright. I don't. I never. I never shied away from the spotlight. <laughs> We had a good night here. We're uh, we're on the Mojave Road right now. I spent a lot of time here. Uh, needs to be a quick explainer. Okay, in my videos, you'll see three words separated by dots. To find out exactly where that location is, you go into our app, Overland Bound 1, and you type those three words separated by dots into the search field. It'll drop a pin within 10 feet. Now, where safety is concerned, you gotta be able to communicate location quickly, and communicating with three words is a lot easier than this. So, that's all there is to it. Type those three words, boom, show you exactly where it is. And then, for example, when you're communicating locations, you can just tell somebody, my current location is this injector busted. We've got our rig, of course, and there's Corey, and then we have Michael, Mike, Social Pants Johnston, who does a lot of filming with us. This is Frank over here. Frank's in a Mitsubishi Montero that he just outfitted. He said he's got six months of parts that he installed in four days. Now, Frank, his shop maintains the 80. He's got Top Shop. We've got our good friend Bill over here in the Tundra. And uh, we're getting ready to roll out. We had a little bit of excitement this morning because this morning about 5 a.m., Corey and I woke up to the dreaded sound of a mouse eating in the 80. Don't drop a cheesy chip <laughs> under the seat. Because yeah. they really, they think they're, they're like, it's cheese and it's chippy. <laughs> we did have a cheesy chip. <laughs> We, like, I was, I was laying in bed, looked over, and the mouse is just like, "There's cheese down here." Did you guys know? Hey Frank, yeah. How much did the last uh, mouse repair cost? A customer brought in something mouse. Fourteen thousand. <laughs> it was a Prius. We're just about, we're just about, we're just about wrapped up. <clears throat> Are you gonna leave that tent here? <laughs> all right now we're out a few days early before meeting up with the rest of the overland bound crew for a desert cleanup we're just gonna roll along and share the adventure with you and stick around you won't believe the campsite we find later in the afternoon we're here at the we're at the penny can and making our way to our our stop 
So we just, you know, get out, stretch the legs. Try and protect the wind here. Get out, stretch the legs, and you gotta put your, you gotta put your toe on. You gotta put your toe on the penny can. Now a lot of people want to know the actual history of the penny can. Well, I'm gonna tell you what the actual history is of the penny can. Um, the, uh, the, the yawn time yonder, this was a, a toll you had to pay what you could afford and it's it's up to each person you can put a dollar in there well you're fancy if you can only put two nickels in there well then put your two nickels in there if you only put one nickel but here's the deal you got to put something in the penny can and the reason is if you don't you travel down this road no matter where you camp that night middle of the night look out on the horizon you're going to see this old kerosene lantern swinging back and forth coming closer and closer toll man come take his toll he gonna get it from you so don't mess with it just put your put a nickel in the penny can a penny in the penny can that's all you got to do anything so much nice. so much it's awesome. This is cool. I haven't seen it like dust. I am videoing. The way the, the um, ray is raking right across the face of the rock. Stay out of the light. So we're in the uh, we're in the caves, and uh, <clears throat> this is the lava tubes, and it's a top secret location. Nobody knows where it is. <laughs> so we're not going to tell you where it is, but you got to do some research. You guys can see this certainly. awesome location. Right. It's certainly not in our free app, Overland Bound One, on iOS and Android Store. Certainly we certainly don't have it marked. No. Lava tubes. Don't do that. No, it's top secret. <laughs> We're driving uh, in Yon's. Sagamore oh. Canyon. Shh. It's, it's pretty. It's very, you know, it's very pretty. Um, night, look here, look at this. Look at this beauty right here. And I'm talking about quarry, not the mountains. So uh, we just, we passed some uh, mine pilings and uh, Frank said, hey, I see the entrance. So we're gonna go look at the entrance to the mine. Now, the reason there's no video of us up there at the mine is because uh, we found gold and so we wanna keep it a secret. We, uh, we just had lunch. <coughs> We just had lunch here and uh, shh, quiet. You guys stop talking about secret stuff. We, and we did a good, uh, we did a nice, a nice long lunch. So um, set up some shade. We put out the awning, drove all morning. And then um, the way it works is this, spend some time on the road. But when we're out here for a few days, we're not bombing to get anywhere necessarily we take our time and move short distances and then a nice break for lunch because we're out here to enjoy it and uh it'll give you a little bit more stamina too if you kind of slow roll if you can now in the case where you remember that time sweetie we were going down in baja and we had to get we only had certain many days and then we drove all the way down we kind of bombed down before we had our first stopover Yeah, we, we had two two-night stops. So, yeah, if you, if you can, go short distances and take some and, and take some downtime. You'll like it. All right, we're at our we're at our we're at our uh, campsite. We just pulled up. You got you guys aren't you're not gonna believe this, but this is what it's all about. Hold on, you guys watch the language. 
I'm shooting video. Okay, okay. I don't want. No, it's too late. Rome Adventure Co. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, sponsor me. <laughs> Mike, social pants. So you guys check out this environment. It's not. It's not when when you're spending multiple days out, Mojave Desert or wherever you go, you find a campsite every night. And they all have their special charm, but every once in a while you come across one that's just awesome. Here we are in the middle of the Mojave Desert and you wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't know it. And so we're, there's plenty of room for all of our, all of our rigs. We're here relatively early. You can see by the shadows um, that we, we got here early. And um, man, we're just going to spend the rest of the day. <clears throat> we have big plans and a lot of work to do. And it looks something like this. Calm before the storm. <laughs> Is that up, Frank? Oh, yeah, we're all set up. Right on. So, yeah, really, really cool. Now, B roll. Yeah. For yoga? No. Mm -hmm.